parts of the Japanese complex to be launched to the station in March. This particular one is the robotics workstation that will be used to operate the robotic arm that Kibo has. Actually, we'll have two robotic arms before it's all over. The first one was launched with it, and a smaller one will be added during a later mission. It's really cold. Appetite. It is. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Holy cannoli. <laughs> appetizing, appetizing. You never know what's in there, huh? Every time it's something else. I tell you, though, it's appetizing. Maybe we, we can just open them and pass them around. Never yes. Depends on what it is. Oh, it's all You just good. keep it's passing it. <laughs> it's all, yeah. Oh, you're going to like it. Yeah, eat it, stuff. taste it, enjoy it, and then ask what it is. <laughs> Hey, before we get started, I got, we got a couple gifts for you guys. Um, but I recommend, based on previous experience, you do not put this on at this meal. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Williams did, and he immediately got soy sauce all over it. And I thought he was going to cry. <laughs> Just want to thank my beautiful wife, Carmel, for that song and say hi to her and to my boys, Ronnie, Joseph, and Jake. Mike and I are getting ready to go out the door for our second spacewalk today. It's going to be a wonderful day. As we uh, get set uh, for the start of today's spacewalk up on the flight deck of Discovery, pilot Ken Ham, the uh, spacewalk choreographer for today, uh, as he was uh, for the first EVA and as he will be for the final spacewalk on Sunday, getting ready uh, to run through his uh, timeline and his checklist as he guides uh, Fossum and Garin through their work today. And Discovery airlock on the big loop. Okay, look. You got him. I got him. That was on time and on target. That's why we're here. Where's the BC? Mike Fossum now uh, out of the uh, Quest airlock, beginning the fifth spacewalk of his career. Ron Garin soon to follow for the second of his career. A good view of Ron Garin uh, working on uh, one of the uh, two television cameras that will be used uh, to assist in uh, robotic operations uh, with the 33-foot-long Japanese robotic uh, remote manipulator system, which will be activated and unfurled by Aki Hoshide and Karen Nyberg on Saturday for diagnostics. JTV, uh, Mike confirmed that it's flush and he got a good torque, so we're happy. The work now uh, begins with the removal of the uh, thermal covers on the joint electronics unit uh, for the uh, Japanese robotic arm. It's like trying to wrestle a cloud into submission. These covers are a bit unwieldy. There is a large bag uh, that Fossum and Garin have at their disposal to uh, fold and stow the covers one by one as they come off uh, the various joints, one cover per joint of the uh, six-jointed robotic arm. 
Right now, uh, Fossum and Garen have moved uh, to the top of the uh, Kibo module and are beginning uh, the procedures uh, to remove a uh, thermal cover over the common berthing mechanism. Hey, there's lights on in a JPM. Lots of people at work in there. No, they're not. I don't see anybody. They got tired of you banging on the roof. <laughs> hey, hey, come in here, Kelly. Can you see uh, Mark in my WBS? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> While the spacewalk continues outside, inside, at the hatchway to the uh, Kibo module, uh, Aki Hoshide is uh, reviewing procedures, Karen Nyberg inside the module, as they prepare to uh, move the next series of racks from the Japanese logistics module into uh, Kibo. Those will be uh, two science racks, one called Saibo, which is a biological cell investigation rack, the other called Ryutai, which uh, is a fluid science experiment rack. Yeah, it's a bit strange in the daytime. Earth's going by five miles a second. Fossum's installing a dummy box in the spot where the camera they just removed was. It's kind of a placeholder. The camera will be fixed on Saturday and then returned to this spot after its power supply has been replaced. This is Mission Control Houston in the uh, Space Station Flight Control Room. The robotic sy systems officer reports uh, that the Canadarm2 is now being maneuvered by Karen Nyberg and Grace Shamatov, moving in uh, for a grapple of the Japanese logistics module. This view now from the uh, end effector camera on the Canadarm2. Once uh, the grapple and the rigidization is uh, completed, uh, Shamatov and Aki Hoshide will be uh, working the procedures to send the commanding uh, to drive open the bolts that have held uh, the Japanese logistics module in place to the uh, Zenith common berthing mechanism on the Harmony connecting node since March. Hey, nice work, Karen and Aki. It was beautiful. Although barely uh, perceptible, you can see motion as uh, the Japanese logistics module now is uh, being unberthed from the common berthing mechanism on top of the uh, Harmony module. The uh, robotic arm uh, being operated by Karen Nyberg and Greg Shamatov. Everything going very smoothly. Once uh, the logistics module is clear, Nyberg and Shamatov will maneuver the arm in a lateral direction about 30 feet to rebirth it and bolt it into place on top of the Japanese Kibo module. PM operator, the maneuver to our tail is complete. You have a go for first stage capture. Copy that. Good job. Station Houston for CB. And Houston Station on Space Mentor. Aki, we read our minds here. Because I think. <laughs> no, you go. No, I'll go. Step behind each other, but we're reading each other. All right. Hey, I think we're thinking the same thing. Uh, great work today by you and Greg and Taz and Greg and Taz. And uh, we'll pick up in step four and complete the procedure. So with that, I think you guys are done with CBM stuff. Nice work. Okay, copy that. Thanks a lot for your overview on the ground helping us out. As you can see, the... Space inside the Kibo Laboratory is filling up quickly. Yesterday, seven of the eight racks that launched inside the logistics.